ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ವಿಷ್ಣೋ ಪದಶ್ರಿತ್ ಗೋವ್ರಾತೈಹ ಸ್ವಾಂತಧ್ವಾಂತ ನಿವಾರಕ ಶ್ರೀ ಸತ್ಯ ಸಂಧ ಸೂರ್ಯೋಯ ಭಾಸತಾಮ್ನೋ ಹೃದಂಬರೆ ವಿದ್ಯಾಪೀಠ ವಿಧಾತಾರ ವಿದ್ಯಾವಾರಿಧಿ ಚಂದಿರ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿ ವತ್ಸಲ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಮಹಿಮ ಸದ್ಗುರು ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಶ್ರೀ ಸತ್ಯಸಂಧತೀರ್ಥ ಸ್ವಾಮೀಜಿ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಲೀನಿಯೇಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಉತ್ತರಾಧಿಮಠ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಪಾಂಟೆಫ್ ಸತ್ಯಬೋಧ ತೀರ್ಥ ಸ್ವಾಮೀಜಿ ಸತ್ಯಸಂಧ ತೀರ್ಥ ಸರ್ವ್ ದ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಮಧ್ವಾ ಪೀಠ ಫಾರ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ಶಾರ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಪ್ಯಾನ್ ಆಫ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಟೆನ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಹಿ ಎಸ್ಟಾಬ್ಲಿಷ್ಡ್ ಅ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಲೀನಿಯೇಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಉತ್ತರಾಧಿಮಠ ಪರಂಪರ ಹಿ ವಾಸ್ ಅ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ತಪಸ್ವಿ ಅ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅ ಸ್ಕಾಲರ್ he chose mahishi as his last resting place which is situated on the banks of river tungabhadra the place is quite far from the busy towns and cities it itself indicates his disinterest in the materialistic and worldly pleasures satyasandha tirtha is a man of miracles the miracles performed by his holiness are innumerable and unimaginable the famous shloka drushta ganga shatitam dwarakilam ushta mudra pandarishasya datta krishna sprashtah shesha darshi latavan ashtaishvaryam satya sandham namami it is believed that goddess ganga appeared herself and took the sacred marada bagina from his holiness shri satya sandha tirtha swami ji once during his visit to pandharpur as usual mudra was being given to all the devotees later when shri satyasandha tirtha swami ji went to have darshan of lord vithala there were marks of mudra on the idol of panduranga vithala lord vithala himself came in the form of an old brahmin to receive mudra from shri satyasandha tirtha swami ji and bless him accordingly when shri satyasandha tirtha visited udupi he met the pontiffs of the eight mathas ashtamathas established specially for the worship of the lord god in shri krishna matha he spent some time there in scholarly discussions and debates he impressed the pontiffs with his superiority and knowledge of the shastras he was then cordially and respectfully invited to worship the uttaradhi mata samsthana murti one day each in every one of the eight mata with their own samsthana murti he left udupi after giving udupi krishna sizable karnike and deep sense of admiration in the hearts of the noble pontiffs during his visit to malakhet Shri Jaitirtha Swami ji himself gave him darshan in the form of a snake. One or two, he was a man of miracles, not just the above. Once, it so happened, during his sanchara, one day he had no flowers at all to offer to Mula Rama at the time of his daily worship. He could not get any flowers in spite of his best efforts. when he was thus worried an old man appeared as if from nowhere with lotus flowers and offered them for the puja and disappeared even as everyone was watching him shri satyasandha tirtha swami ji felt extremely happy that lord mularama himself had sent these lotus flowers for his own worship on this occasion in his supreme happiness he offered all the lotuses to mularama and other deities but found that he had none left to offer to lord goddess sita devi at once he was greatly worried again miracle of miracles happened a lotus flower jumped from shri mularama and sat on goddess sita devi making him very very happy we all know that vidyadesh tirtha swami ji offered the matha and its shishyas the privilege of doing puja and giving naivedya to vishnupada every day this was started by vidyadeesh tirtha swami ji 
when satyasanda tirtha swami ji visited gaya he found that the gaya walas the pandas did not allow him to enter the temple they locked the temple doors they said that they would not open the doors unless a huge amount of money is paid when swami ji went there the doors burst open facilitating the devotees to do their shastrik rites themselves without the involvement involvement of gayawalas this was only possible because satyasanda tirtha swami ji prayed with extreme bhakti to lord rama this happened day after day day after day for 7 days together when the gayawalas finally realized their loss as no pilgrims came to them they pleaded to be excused for their arrogance on one occasion satyasanda tirtha swami ji visited sangli he performed his daily worship of samsthana deities in the fort of vrindavana of shri satyavrata tirtha and did his nyaya sudha pravachana listeners of the pravachana and people who had gathered there in the temple were amazed to see the vrindavan shaking side to side nodding its appreciation of interpretation of nyaya sudha this sight was even seen by king balaraja everyone present there were thrilled at this miracle and praised the greatness of shri satyasandha tirtha not just performing these miracles he toured extensively all over the country to propagate dvaita philosophy and acquired many shishyas he established a math in vijayawada in andhra pradesh and also installed a mukhya prana idol there he also installed narsimha and mukhya prana idols in rajamandri he brought and purchased vast lands of hundreds of acres together but due to passage of time and lack of correct administrative documents showing the same many lands have been seized by the government many nawabs kings who had no belief in god were astonished and amazed by the superiority of swami ji and his mystic power and became his servants his commentary on vishnu stuti and vishnu sahasranama is absolutely outstanding after few days satyasanda tirtha knew he had only a few days left in his life he installed jhulpi krishna acharya to sanyas ashrama and succeeded him with the name of shri satyavara tirtha swami ji he gave detailed instructions how his mortal remains in case he passed away during sanchara should be taken to mahishi where he would like to have his prindavana his prindavan is located at mahishi tirthali taluk of shimoga district Shri Satyasandha Vijaya is a hagiological work on Shri Satyasandha Tirtha. It records his pre and post sanyasa life giving details of his puja, his patha pravachana, sanchara and vrindavana. It also records many significant events that occurred during his time. Today on his aradhana, let us all follow the path led by him and stick to our madhva philosophy. श्री कृष्णार्पणमस्तु